update one on our new cyclone PAM which is located in the southern Pacific. It's already a category one hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. Um, it's category two on the Australian scale is expected to move towards the south and then eventually a peak as a significant cyclone in between Vanuatu and Fiji as it heads towards the south. Warnings already in effect for uh, one of the islands, um, part of the Solomon Islands I believe, as the storm heads towards the south and those are likely to be extended possibly towards Vanuatu if the storm uh, curves a bit further towards the left hand side towards uh, those islands in the next few days um, as is currently expected but may not necessarily be the case. Fiji may also see adverse weather as a result of this storm. Positions 9.8 degrees south, 170.5 uh, degrees east as of 2 a.m. UTC on March the 10th. Uh, it's over very warm sea surface temperatures at this time, around 30 degrees Celsius. Uh, there it is on your right hand side and there's the islands further south as well, also under very warm sea conditions. So. Um, not much preventing the storm from becoming a significant cyclone at this time. Uh, the wind shear map shows a storm at the very far left near the top there, uh, the area which has low wind shear and it's low just towards the south and southwest as well so looking good for the next few days. Uh, same too for water vapour imagery, not so much dry air around and you can see here in particular the storm is a rather very broad system indeed. Um, you see the Solomon Islands on your left hand side there as well. Latest satellite imagery shows how it's been looking rather menacing in the past few hours. The spiral bands extending pretty much all the way around the storm and the central core becoming rather intense indeed. You can perhaps see the beginnings of an eye beginning to come out there as well in those last few frames on the infrared imagery. And maybe not so much on this one, um, but I think we may see it popping out in the next few hours um, between now and the next update. But there it is heading in a general southerly direction as of 2 a.m. which uh, let's take a look around the world now what do we have cyclone Halibur has weakened from 45 miles per hour to 40 miles per hour as it heads towards the southeast beyond uh, Reunion the remnants of cyclone 15s still over Madagascar and we have three other invests in the eastern area uh, near Australia more on that in the future 15 tropical storms have formed so far in 2015 around the world. Eight of those have become Category 1 hurricanes with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher, this one being number 8, and five of which reached Category 3 status with winds of 115 miles per hour sustained or higher. This may well become number 6. You can follow Force 13 on any of its outlets. The website force13.com is the main place to be for all the goings on around the world storm-wise. Of course, the video page, YouTube, search Force 13 on there. Same too for our social platforms, Force 13 on Facebook, at Force 13 on Twitter. You can also speak to me personally on Skype, at Fool13 on there for tropical weather chat. You can also join the chat room. Uh, just ask for an invite after you add me on there uh, on Skype. We'll also be doing another live update on this storm and all the rest of the tropics. That begins at 8pm UTC on March the 10th. But that's all for now. <laughs>